Hello, welcome to today's video. Um, I'm very sick. I have a sore throat, so you're gonna have to deal with my deep voice. Maybe y'all can get that YouTube analytics up with the uh, sick Laco in the comments. But uh, yeah, as you can tell by the title of this video, um, this was, I'm gonna be honest, straight up shit. You know, it sucks. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and get right into it. So. Here are your results of the sprint. We got P9, luckily. Uh, we did get a penalty, but we weren't going to get P8 anyways. So we got two points in that Austrian Grand Prix weekend. Um, that was a race to forget. Uh, you know, crashing into someone during a safety car. Uh, spinning and crashing on the final corner. You know, it really sucked. It was honestly terrible. It was a very terrible weekend. Um, one to forget. And uh, constructors were falling down, mainly because, you know, we're a one-man team, and everyone has basically two drivers, except for AlphaTauri. But, yeah, I mean, uh, constructors will get a late-season push, maybe. In terms of the championship, we are still in the top five, but only by two points. Uh, we do have the Miami Grand Prix, so this is going to, you know really boost us in terms of home race confidence. Uh, I had a lot of confidence coming into this track. Um, I did some practice, not a whole lot that I wanted to, but uh, here is our hot lap. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, just to show you how this session was. Well, unfortunately, during this session, it's the free-to-play weekend of F1, and well, the servers just were absolute dog shit by Cody's like they just there was desync issues everywhere and uh we thought you know it would be better in the race because in qualifying we were noticing people were desyncing so we we're thinking okay we'll just reset make a lobby for just the race itself but uh as you see in our lap we're not doing too bad you know almost a tenth up in the first sector coming into sector two this is where you could gain a lot of time but also lose a lot of time it is uh absolutely crucial that you get these turns and perfectly in the apex no wheel spin and we're just gaining more and more time compared to my first slap and of course this chicane itself it can be the make or break and we absolutely crushed it gaining an extra four tenths as we're nearly seven tenths up having the purple second sector I mean, we're just absolutely crushing this lap so far I'm feeling good but is it enough for pole I don't know um gotta exit this final corner it's really easy to put too much throttle and spin lose a rear a little bit but we actually have a good exit and we're climbing climbing nearly six and a half tenths and it is pole position a 128 flat it's only three tenths off my race but into the race um yeah Everyone was retiring, crashing out because of the desync problems. I was leading the race. You know, I was doing really good. Uh, you know, me and Zach had a little bit of a fight. Not really because of desync. So when Zach did spin, I was feeling really confident because I was starting to break away from tag. But as soon as uh, I was breaking away from tag, that's when basically the entire session was red flagged. So a race where we potentially could have won is out and unfortunately this isn't like spa 2021 where you know we complete a few laps and it worked out so uh yeah really unfortunate for us and you could just see the prime example of the desync it's uh it's quite heartbreaking it honestly sucks uh i had a lot of confidence in this track i was feeling good today but yeah see you guys in the next video